Vinay Gupta, uh, what is a blockchain? What do we need to know? So blockchains are basically a new form of database, but they're a database that solves all the problems left over from the failure of databases and networks in the past to work together. Uh, basically, in the 1970s, we have about 20 years of expansion of the database as a concept, and before that, big organizations were all on paper, which is unimaginable now. 1990s, we really get networks up and running. You get the internet, you get the web, you get Amazon and all of this stuff. You know, there's this huge blooming forward. And now that revolution is more or less stable. But we still don't have a world in which blockchains and databases work together properly, which is why you have to enter your name and address 7,000 times over the course of an average year, and why you can't get big entities to work together on your behalf. Your electricity company can't talk to your bank, can't talk to your government, can't talk to your credit card company. And as a result, you wind up constantly having to broker information and ship it around by hand. And blockchains potentially get rid of that. Uh, you said you need more transparency. What do you mean with that? Well, so the way that blockchains work is that everybody can see everything that happened and everybody agrees on everything that happened. This is why Bitcoin works. It's basically just a gigantic spreadsheet, but you can only write into it in a way that everybody sees. And if you write in a transaction that you know overextends your bank account, the system just rejects it. And this really works, right? You've got billions of dollars of value inside of Bitcoin. So that kind of transparency can apply to software as well. You put the software in the blockchain and it becomes what they call a smart contract, like you have in Ethereum. Everybody can pull the software out of the blockchain and inspect it. And then when you push some value into the software, or you put some data into the software, everybody knows exactly what will happen because the software is exactly there to see. And I keep thinking about things like uh, social security claims. Imagine if the software used to run the claims process was embedded in a blockchain so you could see it. So you take all the data that's stated as fact, you put it in a blockchain, you take all the software that processes these facts, you put it in a blockchain, and you could wind up with a completely transparent social security system. The price is that lots of your personal data is leaked into the world, but the benefit is that you know exactly what's happening. And I think that we could have a system where you uh, provide people with an anonymous identity. So the information is in a blockchain, but you can't tell what human being it refers to. And then apart from not knowing which account goes with which person, we could have a transparent welfare state.